from the News Channel 5 Network. This is Sportsline. All right, welcome inside this edition of Sportsline. John Burton with you. It's the Wednesday extravaganza. We are live in studio. Should let everybody know we're well aware that the Predators are getting ready to play the Dallas Stars in game one of their playoff series over at Bridgestone Arena. First puck is going to drop about 8.45, so we'll update that uh, score for you as we go through uh, the hour. But tonight... We're talking pro wrestling, which is what I love to talk about. Those that know me know that uh, I'm a big wrestling fan. Did a little independent wrestling work in the Pittsburgh area. And we got a big show, a very special wrestling show coming up uh, up at Fort Campbell coming up this Friday. And we've got some special guests in studio. I'm really excited about this. Can you guys tell <laughs> Yeah, man, good. Yeah, yes. That's a good thing. We, we've got Crimson and Jax Dane. They are the War Kings tag team, formerly known as Veterans of War. And way over there is... Uh, Crazy guy from England, Bram. <laughs> Thanks for having us on, John. Oh, man, it's great to have you here. Bram was a uh, Bram was a, a, a had a, had a big push in uh, TNA not too long ago. Some great epic battles uh, with you, my man. So it's great to have you guys here. Thank you. Well, for we appreciate us. you having us. We well, before, we're going to talk a lot about a lot of stuff tonight. We're going to get into the show. Crimson, I remember you. We did a show together in Pittsburgh. I was the ring announcer. You were one of the workers. So yeah. uh, it was great to see your success at TNA and everything you've done. Uh, in your pro wrestling career, um, you know, what have the last, I guess, six or seven years been like for you? You've been, you've been all over the place. All over the place. And, it, you know, to be honest, um, you know, we were talking briefly before the show started about that show in, in Pittsburgh, and it was really cool um, how things come full circle. Yeah. You know what I mean? And uh, it's the last six, seven years have been amazing and, and a whirlwind at the same time mm -hmm. because that show we did in Pittsburgh was seems – Seems like it was just a few, you know, <laughs> know. not too long ago. And right. realistically, it was years ago. Yeah. Um, but it's been really good. Uh, I've had uh, a lot of awesome opportunities come my way. I've, I've been able to start my own promotions company, wrestling uh, live events mm -hmm. in Clarksville, where, where I live, and been able to open up a training facility as well out there. So, I mean, it's been, I couldn't be. I couldn't be more happy for, for what's come my way. That's great because, you know, we know how up and down this career can be. Absolutely. So you formed this tag team with Jax. Yeah. Uh, you guys were veterans of war for a while at TNA. Now you guys are the war kings. Yeah. And, I mean, this is what we call in the business a shoot. You guys are both uh, military war veterans, correct? Well, well, we're, we're going to expose the business a little bit yeah. here tonight <laughs> on uh, <laughs> Channel 5. Plus, I am, um, I am a veteran myself. Mm -hmm. I uh, served five years in the United States Army, stationed at uh, Fort Campbell yeah. with the 101st Airborne Division, two deployments to Iraq. Um, Jax is a huge supporter of the military. Uh, but Well, he looks like a military tank. I mean, he's he does. built well, like a tank. He does. Well, he's, uh, he's built like a war machine. You know, we had, um, Crimson and I had some pretty in-depth talks. That was, that was something for me when Impact approached me about becoming a veteran of war. And, okay. And... I hate to say playing the role of a military sure. person, but quite frankly, that's what it is. Um, I really struggled with that because of the respect that I do have for the military and what our what our guys and girls go through out there. Um, I really struggled with that, and Crimson and I, we had some pretty long talks about it. Um, I've got some really close friends that, that have served. I come from a military family. My uncles were Marines. Mm -hmm. uh, the guys that I talked to about it, they they just told me to study up on it and do the right. best I could with it, be right. respectful, and not do anything to embarrass them as a representation of, of the military. So um, uh, after a lot of hard thought, man, I, I felt like I should go forward with it, and, and we did, and, and here we are. Yeah. And we tried to protect him the best way we could because you, I mean, during that storyline, you never heard him reference that or talk sure. about it. It was always me doing a lot of the talking. And right. uh, at the time, we did have an out of that angle, but uh, <laughs> never did get around to that. <laughs> didn't get to that. <laughs> Funny how that works yeah, in this business, in, right? Yeah, in wrestling, that happens. But, um, yeah. you know, we were very thankful for the opportunity, and uh, we thank Absolutely. Impact Wrestling for putting us together because before that, I had no idea who he was. I mm -hmm. knew of him, mm -hmm. and to be honest, I, I, I wasn't excited about it because when you look at the guy, 
<laughs> he's someone I'm like, I don't know if I'll get along with this guy because, you know, you meet those personalities. He's, he's worried about right. it. <laughs> I mean, come on. And he, I, I know he had the same feeling about me. And, you know, you just know those people are around that have similar personalities. Right. You know, and, and you, will they clash? You know, will I get along with this guy? I'll be honest. This was the greatest guy that I've met, you know, and I couldn't be more thankful for them putting us together. Yeah, you guys had a great run, uh, a great tag team. You guys had great chemistry in the ring. I really enjoyed watching you guys. Guys. Appreciate we appreciate that. that, and we thought so too, and we we felt it, we knew it, and that's why after that um, that run and impact, we're like, you know, we got to continue on with this. Nice. You know, we could rebrand, repackage ourselves, and sure. really invest in us in in this brand the, now, the War Kings, and, and just do the best we can and, and take it as, as many places as we can. Bram, uh, when I watched you in TNA, I, re I really enjoyed your character, man. That, your character in uh, TNA was. Kind of out there, man. He was right, <laughs> right. Nothing like me at all. Well, I, I was going to ask because, you know, they character. say the best wrestling characters, right, are, are you as you are, but with the volume turned way up. <laughs> right. So the Bram character that we saw in TNA, how much is that? Tom, and how much is that? Uh, well, it depends how much I've had to drink. <laughs> <you know? laughs> but you got to do a lot of cool stuff there. I mean, you, you were involved in some good storylines and, uh, you know, uh, you got to do a lot of fun stuff there. What, yeah. what do you remember about your days there? Uh, um, well, it's actually um, I'm best friends with Magnus. Mm -hmm. so it was actually him that helped get me the opportunity there. So I'm very thankful for him. Uh, of course, the feud that I had with him yeah. and, his, and his wife, Mickey, which was a, a lot of fun. It's always it's always great being able to wrestle and beat up your friends. <laughs> you know, <what> I mean? <laughs> like, yeah. that's a perk. And then and then matches we you know with the Bass and Ken Anderson and. Bobby Lashley. I mean, the list goes on and on. It was always a lot of fun, and uh, you know, it's, it was a great time for me. All right, so tell us about uh, this show coming up on Friday. A big military show going on at Fort Campbell, um, mm -hmm. and it's going to be it's going to be a big night to really honor those. By the way, thank you for serving our I country. I appreciate that, John. It means Seriously, a lot. I mean, we we appreciate all you do to serve our country, but. Um, you want to give back, obviously, to, to to those that have served our country. So tell us about this show coming up. Yeah, and. Uh, We've been doing live events. Um, my company, by the way, if, if you guys don't know out there, it's Tried and True Pro. Okay. And um, we started running live events in 2015. And being a veteran, and Clarks, we do shows in Clarksville, Fort Campbell area. Mm -hmm. um, military town, and, and that's, that's it. It's a military town. And when we first started running live events, I knew that the one thing I wanted to do was give back to the community and the veterans. And every event we've done, has we've given proceeds to military uh, nonprofit organizations like Operation Stand Down and Yellow Ribbon Fund, just mm -hmm. to name a couple. But I wanted to do more, and I knew we could do more. So I'll tell you, there's no process like going through the approval process of the United States government. You know, but <laughs> it took me three years, and finally, few, few ho hoops you got to jump to, a little bit of red tape you got to cut. A through. little bit, yeah. <laughs> but finally, you know, three years later, okay. uh, we're able to to do this, to do a live event on Fort Campbell military installation, and it's a completely free event for the military, for veterans, for their immediate family, mm -hmm. and um, and I thought, you know, I, knowing how big morale uh, a morale boost is in the military you need that sure not only the troops but the families themselves because most people don't know you, you there's a lot that the troops and the families have to deal with a lot of time gone separated from families you know so that really wears long days you know they're long days on sure. a daily basis that really wears you wears you down and a quick story um, 2000 2008 2007 one of those years back there. Too many chair shots. Um, <laughs> I was in, in Iraq and, and WWE came yeah. to, do, to do a tribute to the troop show. And I remember that being such a big morale booster for not only myself, but everybody that I worked with. And fast forward to now, I know how important morale is and that morale boost. And I said, what, what better way to give these troops, their families, and the children of the families a, a little boost in having a free event on Fort Campbell. Wow, and it's, that's amazing. It, um, I'm really excited about it. I know everybody that'll be there is really excited, and we've got a lot, a lot of talk in the community about it, so yeah. it should be a big big one. What's that like when you uh, create a buzz in the community like that with a show like this? It's got, it's got, to, be a, it's got to be a rush for you guys. Um, absolutely, man. Anytime you you have the opportunity to, to give back to a community on any level, it's great. But with it being the military, partnered with Crimson and Bram and Tried and True Pro, man, it's just really special. Yeah. Um, 
the, the city of Clarksville has embraced tried and true and and we've embraced the city up there so it's a it's a great thing to be able to go out and perform for those guys and their family and and just give them an escape from their everyday life brad being from across the pond what are your impressions of clarksville tennessee I mean, uh, You're a long way from home i've, I've been here a lot um <laughs> <laughs> wrestling for, for tried and true before yeah probably the last couple of four or five years so i'm kind of familiar with the with the lay of the land now uh, you know, I've, I came from, I was living in Florida sort of the last seven years, mm -hmm. so it's a bit colder, <laughs> but you know, I'm sort of getting used to the, uh, my surroundings. Yeah. How'd you come up with the name Tried and True? Well, <clears throat> um, a good friend of mine back in my hometown, Cleveland, Ohio, where I grew up, uh, started as a tattoo artist. He started giving me tattoos when I was 18, and he's done all my work until until recently, most recently. Mm -hmm. And uh, he he worked his way up through like low-level shop guy all the way to owning a successful tattoo company in the Cleveland area. And he named his shop Tried and True Tattoo. And I would go back and visit him, you know, whenever I was on leave from the military or had a break, I'd go back up there for a couple of days, get some work done, and just talk to him. And that was part of, you know, a process that I really enjoyed. I, I really took to him, and he gave me a lot of advice because he was a little bit older, a little bit wiser. Sure. And when I would I'd talk, I, was, I would always talk to him about the dream I had of being a pro wrestler, and this is what I want to do. And as I progressed through my career as a pro wrestler, would always turn to him to advice. Hey, I want to open, you know, eventually turn to, hey, I want to open my own business, my own wrestling company, start wow. doing live events, promotions. You know, he'd always give me little tidbits of advice. And I just, I guess in order to pay homage to him and, you know, the advice he gave me and just seeing him work his way up yeah. to be a successful business owner, I thought, you know, what better uh, way to show my appreciation and um, just, you know, I, I feel that it it's a story... Um, it defines me as a character and, and the people that I have as a part of the promotion itself, as a part of the brand, is we're tried and true. You know, that's simple, clean-cut definition of what, who we are. Plus, TNT is kind of cool, right? It kind of yeah, rolls up. Yeah. Well, one of the challenges, guys, of, you know, either putting on or helping to put on a, a wrestling show, and you're also going to be performing in the show yourselves. I mean, you know, you gotta, you know there's, there's a lot of stuff like... You mentioned all the red tape and the hoops you got to yeah. jump through and make sure everything's secured and you know the concessions are where <laughs> they need to be and the this and the that and then oh by the way I got to work a match and I got I got to entertain these people once they come in the door. What's uh, the challenge, uh, man? For me, the uh, what, what we call game night is, is it's pretty interesting because like you said, <laughs> especially at Tried and True, Crimson he he's responsible um, along with his wife for making sure that everything runs pretty smooth yeah. from. People getting in the door to parking to concessions to ring setup to music. I mean, it it's all falls under his umbrella. So when it comes to the match, uh, you can guess whose responsibility <laughs> that falls on. <laughs> so um, a, a lot of times, man, he'll come back from pretty stressful situations, and uh, and I'll give him the rundown, and he gets it in his head, and and, and we go do our job. And yeah. He he's a pro. He he's a professional wrestler, and he takes pride in having that title. So not only promoting and running the event, but when it's time for his boots to be on, he's always there. All right, guys, we're gonna take our first break. We're gonna come back. I got a lot to ask you guys about. I got. I want to ask you about the state of wrestling. How you guys got into professional wrestling? Awesome. Where it's going? We got AEW about to start yeah. now. We had Cody doing All In not that long ago. Where's WWE at right now? I got a lot to get with you guys about. Good. The boys are here. We're talking pro wrestling. Your phone calls as well. Stay with us. Sportsline continues. <laughs> 